I came back to my PC just this morning. I left it on overnight and the result is kind of staggering. My entire life, I've been addicted to games like Stick War or Cartoon Wars. Basically any game with a stick figure, I was playing. Even to this day, I still play Stick War 3. However, recently I came across the game You Only Move is Hustle, a fast-paced strategy game in which two players fight in a turn-based high-strategy fighting game where players can predict, plan, and execute strikes, blocks, dodges, and combos with frame-perfect precision. This got me thinking, would it be possible to have two AI stickmen to learn to fight each other in this high-paced environment? I've created a few games that include stickmen already, so I have a bit of experience with it. So first things first, instead of creating a prototype without fully committing, I drew the entire sprite sheet for the first character type. The Swords Wrath is going to be a medium to short range unit that can quickly combo and dash out to enemies with 100 HP. After creating the sprite sheet, I quickly added it to the game with buttons that I could control its movement with to test out the actions. However, I don't want to control it, I want AI to teach it and to learn on its own. So I duplicated the agent, made it red, and now I have an enemy for this Swords Wrath. The final step was to give them actual brains. This brain is called the Neural Network an artificial brain that runs off of math. This network takes in what the agent sees, like where the opponent is or how much health they have, and gives back what action to take next, like a punch, dodge, or movement. Like us humans, we need inputs or senses in order to do anything, such as sight or smell. However, this brain only works off numbers, so we give it things like their X and Y position, the distance away from the target, the current HP, whether they're in the air or not, and more. It's kind of like someone telling you numbers every 0.2 seconds, and you need to figure out what actions to take to win the 1v1, so it's not that easy. The type of AI I went for is called a MAPO, Multi-Agent Proximal Policy Optimization. There are two main parts of this AI that makes it work. First, the actor network. This is what chooses the action based on the inputs. Each agent has its own actor, so they can develop different fighting styles. So the actor network is basically each of the two brains. Then there's a critic network. This is what judges how good an action was. In MAPO, the critic can see the full picture, which is basically all the environment. That means it can give better advice during training, even though each agent only sees their own view when actually fighting. During training, these agents try out different actions. This critic can help guide them by saying, that move helped you win, or that was a bad choice. The proximal part in MAPO just means that learning doesn't change the brain too much at once. It keeps it stable, so agents don't suddenly forget what they've learned. Over time, both agents get better and better at fighting each other, like sparring partners that keep leveling up together. But how do they know if they're getting better? It's by giving them points. If they hit an enemy, they get points, or a reward. If they move towards an enemy, I give them points. If they win, they get a lot more points. However, if they get hit, we penalize it by removing points, and the same goes with losing. Now, without further ado, I added them into the world and started training. My goal was to make them 1v1 and force the fight to happen within 40 seconds. If not, both agents reset and are both penalized. I also made a new unit type, the Archidon, that the Sword Wrath could train against later. It would be faster, have more range, do less damage, and have less HP. Now that I created the playfield, our sprites, and our characters, now our only goal is to make them smarter. At first, they kinda just do their own thing and just try out different moves. This is because their brain is not developed yet, and they need to learn. However, almost 100 iterations later, they're still kinda ass. The reason being is because I gave them the wrong inputs. Right now, instead of each getting their own, such as their own position, HP, and the enemy's relative position, I instead gave it the same info to each other, so each brain had no idea which one it was controlling. After fixing this giant issue, I resetted their brains and set them to train again. About after 200 or so iterations, they were actually fighting, using movement, ducking, aerial attacks, and pairing each other, so I'd say this round was a good success. Now, I wanted to add in the Archidon unit type. All I had to do is change around these two values, which basically tells the AI which unit type it's controlling. By swapping this 1 to a 0 and this 0 to a 1, I basically just told the AI that instead of controlling a Swords Wrath, it's controlling an Archidon. If you want to learn why we do this, be sure to check out my one hot encoding tutorial on my channel. However, this Archidon is a lot harder to use, as it instead wants to be further away, and most of its attacks send him flying across the map, so I had to do some minor adjustments to the reward and penalty system. Once again, I started up the simulation with Archidon vs. Swords Wrath. After a few hundred iterations, the Archidon became a formidable foe. The Swords Wrath had to change up their fighting style a lot, but ended up working out again.
However, how cool would it be if instead of just a 1v1, it was a 2v2? After basically revamping the entire environment in AI model, it now works with four different agents on the field at once. And with that, I left it to train overnight. So I'm back, it's morning, and the result is pretty crazy. Each agent had their own fighting style, but could coordinate with their teammate really well. I mean, did you see that red Archidon leap over the yellow team to flank and knock them into the red Swords Wrath? It's kinda insane stuff going on. So that's the result of this journey. This was originally created to introduce me to the Proximal Policy Network, Reinforcement Learning Implementation, but I'm very happy with these end results. If I were to fight them, I'd probably lose, so I can't be complaining. If you liked the video, please subscribe and like, and thanks for watching. This was a different style of video than my others, so let me know if this one was better or not. Thank you for watching.